The new aftermarket part for the Haymaker shotgun gives it a 60 round drum mag and it shoots two shells at a time. If you want to unlock this, you can actually do it in one game. I hopped into zombies using this build for the Haymaker and this build for the Renetti. And all you gotta do is go straight for the closest Outlast contract and you can complete most of these challenges with just the Haymaker. You'll be able to get your 300 kills with a fully automatic weapon as long as you pack a punch your Haymaker at least once. You can also knock out your 250 critical kills with a shotgun, your 10 kills without taking damage 20 times with a shotgun, and your 25 Hellhound kills with the Haymaker. And if you went to this game with a legendary Aether tool, you'll be able to get it done. But if not, you can go and get your mercenary kills with your pistol. To get this one done quick, I cleared out a merc camp to get a stronghold key card, used that key card on a stronghold, took everybody out there. Then I grabbed the fortress key card, went to the fortress and killed mercs until I had the challenge complete. Now let's go see if it's any good in zombies. Now we've been thinking that this Haymaker aftermarket part is going to be coming out for a while now because recently the Haymaker actually got buffed by actually having its slug rounds work properly. But unfortunately with this aftermarket attachment, you cannot put on slug rounds with it, but you can put on incendiary rounds. So this first game, I'm going to go in without the incendiary rounds. We'll see how it is with just a default shotgun shells. And then we're going to come back in for another game and see if incendiary is any good. As you can see right there, this actually has a binary trigger as well. It shoots two shells per trigger pull. And against these tier one zombies, it's tearing through them at close range. Long range, not so much, but close range, they're not surviving. Now, how's this doing against some tier two zombies? That's not terrible. Took it down in, what was that, 17 shots? That ain't bad for an unupgraded weapon. You can kind of make it through with this. And how is this doing against a tier three fully armored zombie? It's actually doing some damage, surprisingly enough. I don't think we'll be able to kill it, but it uh, left a little bit of an impression on them. Okay, let's get out of here before they kill me. But now that we got a baseline for the damage, let's go ahead and pack a punch this thing and upgrade it. Let's get to pack two, epic rarity, and let me use all my perks. What's this doing now? Tier two zombie was a three shot kill from medium to close range. These other tier three zombies, they can be taken out. Might take a few shots, but they're going down. Doesn't seem to really like armor too much. And how many bolts does this have in the mag? Fully packed, 120. That's an insane amount for a shotgun. I feel like I can just keep shooting this thing forever. And with speed coal, it reloads so fast. Now let's see how this does against a tier two bounty. Oh, Mimic, you're in for a world of pain, hopefully. Why don't you come outside? Oh, you're going the wrong way. Come on out here. What? He's got friends. Where the hell did he go? He just sent his friend after me? Oh, no, he's jumping down from the roof. You know what? Fine. Play all your tricks. It does not seem to be doing an insane amount of damage to him. I'm not going to lie. We're hitting him right in the crit. And the health is barely going down. And he should be dead right about here. Damn, dude. I was getting pretty optimistic about this weapon. See how much damage it was doing to those zombies. But that mimic just ate all those shots. Now, what about against this disciple? Can we keep up with its health steal? It breaks his hand pretty fast. That's good. Already got him down to about half health. He hasn't really been able to take any health from us either. Maybe I spoke too soon. Plus Aether Shroud so we can get some free shots on him. And he is just about dead. Right now. now. There you go. A lot faster than Mimic, surprisingly. But we still got to do a few more contracts if we want to get enough money to get pack three and take this against a mega abomination in the Stormcaller. Now, give me a Mangler. I want to see what this does against his armor. Nope, another Mimic. We'll take this one out a little faster than last time. Let me see if us being close was the issue there. We'll be right up in his face. Looks like it's doing a little bit more damage, but maybe I'm just paying attention to it a bit more. And he should be dead right here. It's weird that it's not doing that much damage at range because I feel like I put on a lot of the uh, longer damage range attachments. Like you can see my build right here for the Haymaker. You think it'd be able to do at least a little bit more at range, but maybe that's the nerf to it because it has so much ammo. And I'm not seeing any more bounties around. So I'm gonna do a quick delivery and I'll be able to go get pack three. And there's the delivery and we're right by the storm car. We're gonna have to come back for you, pal. We'll see you in a bit. Same with you, Abomination. I'll be with you momentarily. Now give me pack three. There we go. Now that we got this thing fully packed, how's this doing against these tier three zombies? From a distance, still about the same, but up close. Uh, still doesn't seem to like armor too much, but against flesh, it's doing pretty decent. This fully armored zombie went down pretty fast when the helmet was broken. Now I'll say this, I think it's definitely better than what the Haymaker used to be, like without this aftermarket part and without slugs, but uh, it's a little underwhelming at the moment. We'll see how this does against big bitch over here. There we go, laser right off the bat, the classic. It's not doing a whole lot of damage and I don't think we broke his face. 
Throughout that whole laser, we didn't break his face. That sucks. That sucks a lot. Oh, and now his face is broken. I hope that when we come back in here with our incendiary rounds, that it actually has like a good damage increase. Because I feel like they left incendiary rounds like able to be equipped on this aftermarket part just to piss people off in multiplayer. I don't know if they really do anything in zombies. But we got him. Uh, no, I was about to say half health, but it's not even close. This guy's a tough nut to crack. He is resilient. Well, we've already gotten this far without an ammo mod. Let's throw on some napalm burst. Will that help us out? I think we're doing slightly more damage. That's not saying a whole lot. Oh, and he's doing a bit more damage to us as well. I hope I got enough self-revives to make it through this fight. I got one more. We got to make it count. Oh, we got an O laser. Come on. This middle head has to go. Right here. There we go. Woo! If we didn't kill him in those next, like, three shots, or take that head out in the next three shots, we were down for sure. Oh, we almost got an Aether Shroud. We got it. But he's shooting his laser. Hold on. Knock it off. Stop shooting. Okay, Aether Shroud now. And I still got knocked. What the fuck? I was safe. At least I should have been. Well, that sucks. We're just gonna have to thug this one out. I've been fighting this guy for a millennia. He just will not die. Oh, he's almost there. Let's not go down right here. Oh, he ate my decoy. Cocksucker. He's so close to death. Come on. There we go. Finally. Jeez. That was a fight of a lifetime. So against this mech abomination, it did not do too well. Oh, our Stormcaller buddy's still here. Let's throw a quick monkey bomb so the zombies leave me alone. How much damage are we doing to you? Eh, it's a little bit. I think probably better than what we were doing to our mega abomination. We got really lucky with the storm spawn. It's right on top of where we're supposed to be fighting the red worm. So we can constantly throw decoys and come over here and repair our gas mask and get more ammo. Very convenient spot. Ready took a decent chunk of his health away. We can get a little bit more right here at the Aether Shroud. Oh, ooh, yikes. Immediately slapped. That's my only self revive too. You know what? Just to be fair, let's throw in our dead wire ammo mod. Get a little extra super effective damage on him. It's taking his health down a, a pretty decent amount. It's not like chunking it with each bullet, but the amount of shells we can throw off at a time, it's taking him down a bit. A holy horde of zombies. God damn. Oh, I've been constantly clicking this whole time for each shot, but you can just hold it down. It's full auto. I did not know that. Let's try to make a very daring and heroic effort back in here with no self revive. Because I am too broke to buy another one. I am broke as shit right now. We got him to half health. Stopped them from healing. Hit the Aether Shroud on him. We're getting a good amount of damage. Here we go. Actually might be able to take him out right here. Uh, maybe not. But we're getting there. We're knocking on the door, killing him. Oh, and I'm knocking on the door of death, too. Right, let's control the zombie population real quick. Oh, the Stormcaller came out of the storm. What are you doing out here? Oh, he healed, too, bastard. He was so close to dying. Well, if you want to fight me out here, that's fine. These zombies are way easier to kill here. And he keeps healing. Stop! That was your own choice to leave the storm. Why do I get punished for it? Cocksucker. I get to do all that damage over again. You're a dickhead. Come on, you big bitch. Just die. Okay, decoy. Let's start laying the wood. Dicking him down. Throw another one. And he should be dead here. No saving you this time, bitch. Sit. Whew. That was close, but we took him out. Give me your skull and a precision airstrike. You know what? I'll just use that real quick. Just for fun. That's not killing? Oh, it took a few out, I guess. That's crazy. In my jug back. I'm out of here. Now let's go ahead and test out our incendiary rounds and see if they're any better. And I had to slightly change our haymaker build. I got rid of the rear grip. That way we can throw this new ammo type on. Let's see how this is doing here. Looks like it's about the same. It's got a little bit more of a cooler effect when you shoot it from the incendiary rounds, but I don't see the zombies like catching fire. Like the, the effect definitely hits them, but it don't look like they're actually burning from it. And when I was throwing this attachment on, I looked at the stats for it and it actually decreased damage in a lot of categories. Like a lot of them went down by like 10% or more, but it did show the damage bar going up. So I think that's just it accounting for the fire damage affecting it. I don't think it works in zombies. So I guess we'll see. Now, what about against some tier two zombies? Uh, it kind of seems a bit worse. Like, without the incendiary rounds, we were kind of going through tier 2 zombies kind of quickly. But now we're not doing as much. What about against our tier 3 zombies? I mean, it can do a bit of damage. 
It still seems to struggle with armor, maybe even more now with the incendiary. But you can hurt him a bit. Now let's go ahead and pack a punch it and upgrade it. What about now? Still kills the tier two zombies pretty quickly. And here's some fully armored tier three zombies. What are we doing against them? It's still not doing like massive damage, but it's it's usable for sure. The ammo for it helps out so much. Having 120 bullets in the mag is so nice. I'm going to go do a few contracts so we can get some perks and then go take on our mega bomb and our storm caller. All right, we're all good on our perks now. Let's go ahead and try to take out the storm caller first. And this one's going to be a bit tougher because the storm is in the tier three zone. So hopefully we can still take them out but it's gonna be a struggle. And we don't have the luxury of having all those ammo caches near us this time. Oh, and these zombies are impossible to take down. They are so buffed. Let's Aether Shroud. Can we get some good shots on him? At least get his mask broken. Nope, it is not working. I don't think these incendiary rounds are making this much better. All these zombies are just eating these. Let's throw in our dead wire. Let's try getting them again now that we have our Aether Shroud. We still haven't even broken his mask. It will not break. We got like some damage on him, but I don't think it's possible to kill him. Finally broke the mask and got him kind of close to half health. But this is a losing battle. We're going to be here all game. I'm going to go fight a mega bomb. And then <laughs> if we can kill that, we'll come back and try him again. All right, let's switch our ammo type to the napalm burst. He's already shooting his laser. Let me in there. Oh, I think he's down on us here. Yeah, we're not getting through. He's supposed to be weak to fire too. You think the incendiary would do more? Ooh, Aether Shroud through the laser. Actually, are we doing more damage to him this time around? We haven't even broken a face yet and he's got a good amount of his health gone. This head's gotta go. There's no way it survives this. There we go. Holy shit, what a hop. You can't escape me like that. He's pulling out all kinds of new tricks. Oh, come on. No way, that's not broken. How? And how many self revives do I have left? I feel like I'm going down a lot. I got none. Oh, shit. Shit in my ass. We gotta go down here. Don't you charge me up here, you fucking dickhead. Shoot your laser like you've been doing. Oh, hey, here we go. He's pretty low health. So we broke his middle face. That's what we like to see. Damn, he's pre firing me. Stop. He's so close to death. Please. Almost. We got him. Holy shit. What a weird fight. And they dropped dead wire for us. Let's go grab a self revive and go see what our boy the storm caller is doing. Damn, there's already only 10 minutes left in the game. That's how long these fights have been taken. Good thing he still kept some of his damage on him. Otherwise, this would be ass. It still is ass, but it'd be even more ass. It'd be ass too. Revenge of the cheeks. Let's just try to train around the zombies and sprinkle as much damage onto them as we can. Actually, you know what? I'm calling in my jug. Now, can we grab this jug without dying? Is what I want to know. You know what? Fuck it. We're just going for it. Got it. You're not going to knock me in this? You're not going to fucking knock me? Every one of you is going down. Now, where's the storm caller? I just want to talk. I can't even see anything. What the hell was that? There he is. Eat that, you motherfucker. We got him somewhat low, though. We might actually be able to do this. Our gas mask is about to die, though. I'm gonna go repair it. And let's hope his health stays the same. It did last time. It should again. I got no time for you, Abomination. You just mind your fucking business, pal. Oh, no. He followed us over here. Okay. I'm running in the storm. We gotta kill him now. There's no more time for fuck around. Oh, he's low on health somehow? Okay. Sweet. Oh, nope. Fully regened it. Well, I gotta talk, don't I? Come on. No healing. Stop. Please. Fuck. This is ridiculous. I don't know if his health bar is a glitch or not, but we're gonna find out. Oh, there's a second one coming. Nice. Yeah. They called him for reinforcements. This is fucked up. This is the most fucked up storm caller fight I've ever done. And the storm's actually about to start moving, so I don't know what happens with the storm caller once the storm actually moves. So we gotta beat him now. We might just be fucked. I don't think we can kill this guy. But I'll fight him until my last breath. Where'd he go? Did he despawn? He was so low, too. That's fucked up. He does despawn with the storm. And now our gas mask is broken. What a fucked up day. I spent so much time in this match fighting him. Just for him to abandon me. No honor. Now let's see if we can actually survive. We got a car here. This might be able to save us. Oh, and a portal. Let me in there. All right, I think we're all good. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Whew. 
What a game. So is this aftermarket part good? Uh, I would say not really. It's decent against normal zombies, and it's definitely like an upgrade over just the normal Haymaker, but I think the Haymaker with slug rounds is definitely better than this. Having 120 rounds, though, Pack-A-Punch is really nice, and you can just slay through zombies. It might be better for, like, going for camo challenges for the Haymaker and zombies, or if you just have some stuff to do in, like, Tier 1, Tier 2, maybe, you know, a little Tier 3. But overall, it's, it's pretty mid. Fun to use, but not very strong. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.